The U.S. military is scaling back. Whether this is smart or foolish is a matter of growing debate that is sure to continue in coming years. But these facts are immune to the hawks versus doves debate. The United States has engaged in two bloody, costly, and lengthy wars in South Asia simultaneously. Our war fighting equipment is showing battle wear and tear. Much of it is battle scarred. After multiple deployments, our fighting forces are exhausted. Post-traumatic stress disorder, suicides, and divorces are on the rise among active duty personnel. The strain on U.S. military families of a solid decade of war was described by retired Admiral Mike Mullen, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, at a recent conference in San Diego. We have asked our families to do the impossible. If I'm a five-year-old kid when this war starts, and 10 years have passed, I'm now 15. My whole conscious life has been at war in my family. That's never happened before. Under Secretary of the Navy Robert Wark picked up on Admiral Mullen's observation about the young boy in a military family who has only known his nation when it was at war. In the past two decades, this is our collective experience. We think this is normal. It is not normal. Look back in our history. The United States is a great nation and it projects power to protect its interests and our allied interests and our partner interests when necessary. But in the last two decades, we've been at war longer than any other time in our history. The force is tired. The indicators of stress, suicide, divorce, people who are under financial problems, they are sky high. Now, I want you to consider this. Since May 13, 1989 through December 31st, 2011, we have seen 270 months, 130 months at war. The war to peace ratio is 1 to 1.08. For every month or year we are at peace, we are at war. When we pull out of Afghanistan in December 2014, if plans go as they are currently planned, we will have a 307 month period where 166 months are at war for a war to peace ratio of 1 to 0.85. Over a 25 year period, we will have been at war more than we will have been at peace. This is the most active period of military activity in our history. But I would submit that we are no longer the Department of Defense. We have become the Department at War. At the Pentagon, there are more political battles than military battles. The defense budget is always a contentious issue, regardless of who is in the White House or who is in Congress. Robert Wark is an Obama appointee, and he made it clear he was making the administration's case about what he called a strategic pivot at the Department of Defense. So the strategic pivot is we are going to have a period of revitalization. We are going to revitalize our economy because it is going to be one of the key means of competition in the 21st century. And we are going to revitalize our military. And we're going to do that by not using it as often, if possible. Critics might argue not using the U.S. military as often depends on what happens in the future in a few places in South and East Asia. I'm Vince Wade.